Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another animation student vlog. I'm in Miami-Dade Community College and I'm studying animation. And this is actually a vlog from early on the semester. That's why the footage is a little bit more shaky. I recorded this all on my Samsung Fold 3, which is my phone. That was before I had the vlog camera. So excuse any shaky footage. And this is in the span of a whole week because I didn't have a lot of footage for the first day. So I included the second day as well. And right now I'm doing homework for my character design class. This is a homework where we had to do a bunch of facial expression studies. And I didn't do so well in that assignment. I drew the faces at too many different angles. Actually, I don't think that was the issue. I think my issue is that I struggle drawing a character looking the same all the time. And I that's why in, if you guys watch some of my newer vlogs, I ended up duplicating the face because I had the issue with this assignment. I know a lot of artists struggle with same face syndrome. I struggle with the opposite of that where a lot of the time when I draw a character, they look completely different from each other besides my own see but even then she always looks different every time i draw her so yeah and i know i said that this class well this vlog takes place in the span of a week and it's actually just two days that's because i only take two classes per week well not per week i only have classes two days per week i try to have them all in two days so that way i can work this was early on the semester so i was working a full-time job and now we're in class and i'm doing my silhouette assignment for the character design class that's actually been our final this whole time the great thing about this professor is that he's super organized so he told us about it early on and i actually had a harder time doing the silhouettes for my character designs than actually drawing it out that's because this is a method i've never used before so I had to like having to dumb my brain down to do simple shapes just didn't register with me at least with my art style and I had a hard time with it uh so <laughs> I'm just showing you guys a little bit as I move on to the next couple of assignments which is until the next day since I didn't get that much footage and I'm so sorry guys I don't have that much dynamic angles here's my outfit from the second day I'm kind of wearing the same mask and beanie because I really like that beanie I got five and below by the way and everything else I'm wearing is from Sheen and today I'm in the lab I have been in the lab since the beginning of the video I just didn't tell you guys where I was because I couldn't get a wide angle and right now I'm gonna be working. I came to school early. I had to leave work a little bit early that day and I had to work. And my day job at the time was, I was a videographer for this small tech company, but I was also the person that handled every graphic and social media. And so I was kind of pull all over the place. I realized I had a lot of personal information up, so I blocked all of it. And the laptop that I'm using is a Samsung Galaxy Book Flex. And I like using that laptop on the go for the most part because it fits in this backpack. It's lightweight and it handles some of my work for the most part. And right now I'm going to be working on a script for my storyboarding class. And that's something I can definitely show you guys. The script I did in OneNote, it's not anything too fancy. The professor didn't really care what we have for the script or how we write it. He just mostly focused on having certain shots. So I made sure to have a couple dynamic shots before class. So I came in early and I was just working on my laptop and normally i would continue to work on my laptop but i didn't 
I just switched over to the big Cintiqs because that, that was just a little bit more convenient for me at the time. And I'm gonna be finishing that facial expression assignment that I mentioned earlier that I did not get a good grade on. And I don't think I got a chance to fully finish it. Like my lines were so loose. I'm not sure if you wanted it like line art or not, but I did it like super sketchy. And I know that's probably not the main standard, but I was trying my best since that week I was, even more exhausted than usual since again this was early on the semester where I was balancing work and full nine to five with school and the way I did it was I actually negotiated a couple of my work hours so I could leave early uh, on some days and then come a little bit earlier in some days I made my schedule a little bit flexible so that way they can call me whenever they want so that way I could just block off those times for school which was really difficult to do I did it for like two semesters and uh I, I couldn't handle it anymore so I'll talk about that in another video but somehow I did it for the duration of these two classes which is my character design class and my storyboarding class and as you guys can see the different facial expressions they're like not the best I, I did try I think I did get some of the expressions right but I didn't completely understand the assignments and I'm in the lab today oh, chilling by myself and um that was a hard thing to get down i definitely want to revisit that assignment again and practice and now we're into my storyboarding class and since i'm recording all of this on my phone i don't have any wide angle so i'm working on the storyboard that i did the script for earlier and the basic of kind of like this short story it's not even a short story it's just like the scene i was trying to talk about um having a bunch of art prompts um it's like oh I, the start of the year there's a bunch of art prompts and you kind of feel overwhelmed and then my character finally finds a prompt that she likes because like the prompts are just falling all over her. that was the concept that I had and I did this in a whole class sitting I did have to stay a little bit after to get some of it done and since this is a storyboard I did not have to worry about having super clean line art since this was not the final so I was able to just turn in my sketches and for this one I actually did it in photoshop and if you guys watch my earlier vlogs which is right here in the pop-up card in this class we normally use storyboard pro but this professor doesn't mind if we use other programs as you guys could see in my other vlogs that some students use procreate Krita, anything so i decided to do the storyboard in photoshop and i don't know if that was the best idea because it was so painful even though this was only a couple frames like i would draw but then i would go in my previous frame and i would have to hide what i draw so it wasn't the most streamlined way uh i really have a big respect for animators that animate in photoshop it's not the most intuitive i did it since this was a storyboard assignment i photoshop is the most comfortable program that we have installed on these computers there's no clip paint studio i wish there was clip paint studio and here's how the storyboard's looking so far i'm hoping the story's making a little bit more sense and i mean this I'm using my OC because it's supposed to be an embodiment of me, how I felt like when I saw so many art prompts for the whole year. There's like Mermaid, there's Cute Girl Tober, there's Witch Tober. I think that's more in October. Uh, maybe I got the timeline wrong for this. But yeah, that's what I was trying to embodiment in this storyboard and trying to uh, showcase that really well. That's why in a lot of those frames, I had to put the direction of the with the arrows where the camera was moving to better tell that story because that's the point of storyboards is for them to be guides for the full animation per se well not full animation but full the full vision that's the great thing about storyboards because you could plan out like a scene they're really great for commercials they're really great for if they're, they're like thumbnailing for like comic books like thumbnailing pages and i find them really fun to use and again as you guys can see i struggle with the face same different face syndrome where every time i drew my character it looked different thankfully this professor did not uh, harp on that um he actually really enjoyed it he just like is happy that i'm understanding a lot of core elements of storyboarding which oh, was so pleasant because 
Oh man, I spent the whole class on this and uh, I turned it in. I finished it in class. Oh man, I had to start a little bit before class to finish the script, but now I'm packing up and I did use my tab S7 to have my script on the side if you guys saw there. But oh guys, I'm done and I'll see you guys in my next animation vlog. So bye.